What? What is happening to me? It's not important. What's most important is the exchange for coming this far. Your resilience of both mind and body is extraordinary. Now head straight to the shore. Make good use of the artifact you hold and release him. Hello lads, welcome back to the shore. I think we're on part 5 now. Yeah, I left off yesterday <laughs> after an amazing episode. Uh, yeah, it was really nightmare fuel. We saw Cthulhu for the first time. Uh, yeah, it was a great episode. And I'm just wondering what the hell now is up. I'm all mutated, sort of, if you see my hand. I got this pyramid, which is really freaky. It can shoot stuff, but it doesn't seem to affect much, at least for now. So, first things first. Has this been on this island the whole time? Like, there is that statue thingy that we got to move earlier. And what is this? It's like some elder... Oh, oh. that thing is moving. That dude there. That thing is moving and it's like in ca in a cage. You know, like a um, like an Iron Maiden, I believe the term is. Not the band, but you know. <laughs> Does it affect the bird? I'm highly disappointed that I cannot <laughs> uh, kill the seagull. But okay, let's let's get into it. Let's get into it. Uh what the hell? Why? And where so maybe this was just part of the island that I just never could have accessed before you know I was just on the coast always I'm assuming it's an island but I mean a shore can be for any land now I was just in some puzzles and you know what this guy is all wrapped up nicely in his cage. Uh, I don't really want to release him, but that seems to be the general consensus around here. Hmm. What do we have here, for example? Hmm, of no effect. I'm assuming things are going to turn. Hmm. So far there haven't been that many puzzles in this game. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I think puzzles have their place, but you don't always need them, you know. One. Two. Three. Alright. Do I throw it? It's like a galactic snowball or something. I don't know. I... This does not do anything. Alright guys, I'm not going to waste time. I'm just going to figure out what's going on. And I'll be back shortly. Hold on. Uh, okay. Are we friends now or what? Oh, it's just a... Maybe it won't hurt me? I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's just back off a little bit. And oh, that's gonna be that scene from Dagon, guys. When it worshipped at the monolith in Dagon. Literally, it's almost. Wow. Wow.
that is that was amazing yet quite anticlimactic. It's like uh, okay, yeah, we saw that. All right, that was amazing to see that, and the music was great. But uh, now we are just staring at this creature riding off into the distance. And plus, you add to the fact that the puzzle here was really. It was simple in the end, but it was also just kind of a, a waste. It slowed things down a lot. So, I mean, you had this creature here, which was... Look at the effect. Okay, this is Dagon, right? That thing there. Well, maybe it's not Dagon, but from the story, Dagon, right? Look what happened to the protagonist, okay? So, I rock up here. I've already seen some shit, to be fair. And then there's this thing. He's just chilling in his cage, right? Now, while you're fiddling around trying to figure out the puzzle, which granted isn't rocket science to figure it out, but it is a little bit tedious. You have to keep doing the same action over and over again. It wasn't smoothly done at all. And frankly, you know, this whole, this awe-inspiring monstrous thing is right here. You're supposed to be, oh my God. And you're like, no, hmm, do I press this button? Do I do this button? And he's just awkwardly sitting like, uh, are you retarded? Just push the buttons, you know? And then you see the scene that's so iconic from one of Lovecraft's most iconic stories. And then he, he sort of rolls off with the, the, this monolith. And also the camera angle, I'm, I'm really critical because I really was amazed when I saw it. And the build up and then the camera angle, I know it's stupid, but... He had his back to us, the, the the giant deep one. And now I'm just sort of like, okay. You know, it's kind of a letdown. Hmm. That's kind of sad and frustrating. And now it's a little bit more like, okay, what, what did that achieve? You know? So I let him go. Now what? Do I... Is that it? Hmm. Look, um, when it comes to games like this, these indie games, uh, yeah, you have to have some mercy with some things. Um, like, it's not going to be the most smoothest to play or something like this. Yada, yada, yada. But some things like you could have just ch changed the camera angle. You could have made the puzzle way quicker to do. Here's a flea thing. Um... Things like this would have been small things that you could have changed and it would have enhanced the scene so much better. Remember Call of Cthulhu, the video game I, I played through? Um, you saw Cthulhu for a flash of a second, right? And not all of him either. And then that, w that was so climactic. It was so built up well, built so well up excuse me and then this one is like not that that's a little bit disappointing I've got to say guys okay uh, what now all right so I just had to re-zap the the spinning ball thing oh god now we're back so yeah just to reiterate you know massive respect to the people who made this game but just a few things done a little bit differently maybe they were in a rush or something but they should have slowed down a little bit just to think of little key things that could have been fixed easily yeah all right now this is um, this is something oh 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 okay you didn't have to take it so personally sir <laughs> Uh, so, let's try that again without pissing off this this thing, this entity here. How about if I zap these things? <coughs> oh, come on! Like a lot of things, there's a little bit of trial and error in this game. Now, that's just the nature of it, but some things you have to do over and over again. Um, especially with, like with that chase scene I had earlier in the previous episode it's like really that's the thing that killed me it's some small little thing like you got stuck on something or 
it just didn't make logical sense in the universe of the story but it's just like yeah a bit disappointing <coughs> like like this I don't know I, I little three up I'm obviously doing something wrong and it's just it, now I'm not saying they have to dumb down everything to make it like retard proof that anyone can do it with an IQ of like 70 but when some things are not intuitive in a game it really destroys the narrative like if you play Castlevania on NES uh, uh, then it's like yeah yeah trial and error trial and error but the game this advanced should have some intuition in it one two three uh, see I don't know what I'm doing wrong that's frustrating guys a little bit maybe I'm just in a bad mood today I don't think so let's just figure out what's going on here huh and we'll skip past it alright I beat it oh this thing is down there alright I'll go into that I guess huh oh Jesus this is charming another puzzle alright you have to find the one that has like a, a hieroglyph on its forehead okay I, I know I've been a bit harsh in this game already uh, but yeah the Jesus we will need one of my many forms. Okay. No, I left the tip, right? Which form? Okay. They're all down? Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, the art style here is really on point. Major... Beware, I heard you will find Sakdana Gotha, a manifestation of Katuvo's subconscious mind. Try to avoid it. Okay, now this is getting interesting. This is interesting now. Oh. Hmm. Uh. Try to avoid it. And how pray it suck? How, how do I do that? How do I avoid it? I'm like, I cannot go past. <laughs> it saw me instantly. And I'm getting squid sodomized here. I'm holding the trigger down. Like, what do you want me to do? What do you see? Come on, come on. <clears throat> okay, what's wrong with me today? I'm a bit salty, or maybe I just suck at gaming today. Who knows? But uh, let's let's look through this again, right? We have to avoid it, so trial and error. I'll just run. Okay, he's there. So I'm just gonna run my ass off. Does this even do anything? Or is it just like using a water pistol against Schwarzenegger or something, you know? Yeah, he does seem to be stuck, but... And this thing is, is useless as a, as a weapon. Ah, come on! Ah! Where do I go? I'm just ru I'm just running, guys. I'm just no health recovery. So once again, I'm going to have to basically <laughs> waste your time, you know, with the uh, trials and error. You know, that, that's so boring to watch. So yeah, when I figure this out, back to that, back to back to yeah you know, the story. All right, that sucked. That sucked a lot.
So much trial and error. Okay, you've you've heard me criticize the game. It's the same reasons again. But now, my watcher, you stand before him, the slumbering god. I have sealed him from within. Break him free. Holy shit. Alright. Here we go. Jesus Christ. So as much as, as much as things annoyed me. Wow. And the utter silence. <laughs> this is aesthetic. I don't know, there's a lot of hits and misses in this game. But wow, when it hits, hits well. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. This is something else. This is... Let's go. Let's see what happens. How you doing? Cthulhu awakens. What? I'm back. What happened there? We woke Cthulhu up, but... No, no, that was surely just like a statue that... Came to life as a representation of Cthulhu. Cthulhu is massive. By his causality. All you have to do now is open the gate for the great old one. How is this going to help me find my daughter? We have to melt things first before we bring her back. What do you mean, bring her back? Do not get ahead of yourself. I need you to stay focused. All right, all right. But what did you mean by nudging things? It's one of these laser beams has an effect on this world. You and your will. The key to disrupt their influence. My what? father used to speak of how we're not in control, that our fate is sealed from the moment we're born. And that is why we were meant to be fishermen in our family. So, so what? <clears throat> I'm a bit lost in the story, I have to admit it, guys. I've been playing daily. Are oh, those cultists? I've been playing daily. I'm up to date with what's happening. It's so fresh in my mind, but I'm assuming there's Neil Athotep giving us commands when uh, he, he spoke of many forms. And this world, what is it? I always thought it was a dream world because, okay, I know it's stupid, but because of that seagull, no seagull does that. So it's like maybe it's sort of some. I know it's really stupid, but and finding your personal belongings just laid out on the beach it makes me think, yeah, really, it's it's a dream or something. One piece missing. Or then this one needs to go here, and this one in my hand is here. And this one is over here. And then I'm missing one. One stone is missing. I have lost everything. Hmm. Well, that was relatively painless. It was just over there by the skeletons. Hmm. I'm wondering how this turns out. But wait, it's not... It's a different stone. Ah, oh, sorry, my, my mistake. Now let's see. 
Oh! What the hell? A xenomorph! Who is this mortal? How is it possible he has the eye of the gatekeeper on his hand? That's it was the eye. It's impossible. Something greater in the shadows. Something is forcing his hand. You seek an audience with the great old one. I... I do. Hmm. What creatures are... These seem to be original designs. Weird. Hmm. Let me think. Hmm. 